Tess Vigland here from the Wall Street Journal's As We Work podcast. This season will take you from that first job all the way to retirement and all the career moments along the way. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. You're listening to Numbers by Barron's. It's Friday, February 11th. I'm Sheena Mishkin, and I'm here with the numbers you need to navigate the markets this morning. Our first number is 7.5%. That's how much consumer prices increased annually in January, a four-decade high. Price gains were broad, but the greatest contributors to the increase were the cost of food, electricity, and shelter, according to the Labor Department. While prices largely increased, new car prices were flat on a month-over-month basis, following eight months of significant increases. The report, which surpassed economists' forecasts, solidified expectations that the Federal Reserve will move to increase interest rates in March. Economists expect rent prices to keep core inflation elevated this year, since the metric can rise on a lag of 12 to 18 months behind home prices, which climbed last year. The next number up is 129.8 million. That's how many Disney Plus subscribers there were at the end of the company's last quarter, Walt Disney said Wednesday. The addition of roughly 12 million new subscribers was greater than Wall Street had expected. On a call with investors, Disney management reiterated its target of between 230 million and 260 million subscribers by the end of fiscal 2024. Analysts expect the streaming services subscriber growth to accelerate in the second half of the company's fiscal 2022. While Disney Plus's subscriber growth is a sign of recurring profits in the future, it didn't drive the company's earnings beat. Disney's theme park segment, which doubled in revenue from a year prior, was largely responsible for the upside earnings surprise. The company reported earnings per share of $1.06, topping analyst expectations of $0.74. Our last number is 3.69%. That was the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate for the week ending Thursday, Freddie Mac said Thursday. Mortgage rates have been climbing since the year started. This week's rate was nearly a whole percentage point higher than the same week last year and was the highest since early 2020. Mortgage rates are largely expected to continue to increase. The National Association of Realtors expects the 30-year fixed mortgage rate to hit 3.9% in the last quarter of the year, while the National Association of Home Builders says rates will top 4%. Rising rates could combine with home prices, which have risen swiftly through the pandemic, to put pressure on home buyers. A combination of rising rates and home prices added $201 to the typical mortgage payment on an existing single-family home last quarter, compared with the year prior the National Association of Realtors said Thursday. And that's Numbers by Barron's for Friday, February 11th. I'm Sheena Mishkin, and we'll be back with more numbers you need to know on Monday. Have a great weekend. Tess Vigland here from the Wall Street Journal's As We Work podcast. This season will take you from that first job all the way to retirement and all the career moments along the way. Listen wherever you get your podcasts.